be reading you a poem and it's not uh, very traditional. I like to often read classical poems like Frost or postmodern poems like um, T.S. Eliot, but today I'm giving you just a little tidbit from an author that I really, really love, and um, you may have heard of him. His name is Neil Gaiman, and he's probably most famous for the Sandman series of comics. Um, <laughs> But he is also a great writer. You may have seen movies inspired by um, him, like um, like Mirror Mask or Coraline. Um, but he has just a wonderful imagination that is really, really grown up and childlike at the same time. So, anyway. Um, so I'm going to read you a poem that I thought would not only be a good poem to read um, one time, but it would be a good poem to read and then um, sort of remix for you. Um, this is from his collection called Fragile Things, and it's really kind of a, a treasure trove of... Um, there's some poems, obviously. Um, there's some wonderful short stories. So, all kinds of things here. Um, it says, Fragile things, short fictions, and wonders. And that's exactly what's in it. So, uh, the poem I'm going to read is not... Um, by any means the most masterful poem. It's more an adventure. Uh, and it's, um, it's a poem about imagination. So I thought, like I said, I thought I would start by reading it to you and then um, rereading it with some sounds to help sort of go along on the journey of the poem. Um, and then finally, I'm remixing it so that it's got some layered audio, which I think will be really, really nice. I hope. So, um, but I just wanted you to see the collection it comes from, um, just in case you wanted to pick it up. Again, it's called Fragile Things, and um, it's got this very cool cutout. So it opens like that, <laughs> and you can see some of the um, some of the reviews um, that are really, really rave reviews, obviously. Um, and of course, there's more in the back. And there's the man himself, who I always think uh, looks a lot like his. Um, like his Sandman character, so, but he's very clever, and, um, he plays around a lot with, um, fairy tale and fantasy, mythology, um, mixed mythology, religion, that kind of thing. Um, oh yeah, you may have seen, um, uh, Stardust. Stardust was also a movie that they made based on his writing, um, and of course, um, you may know his other books, um, Good Omens, he wrote with Terry Pratchett, it's really great, um, super funny, um, and other things, um, he's written American Gods, which a lot of people love, and I think is in the process of being made into a movie right now, um, and what else? A lot of people have read Anansi Boys, so anyway, if you're at all familiar with him, 
He has this wonderful ability to create and recreate and retell myths. Um, and it sort of feels like in the old oral tradition um, that you could take a character or an event and sort of tell it and retell it and retell it and retell it. So um, anyway, but um, there's a great poem in here that sort of evokes that and I think it's a really great incantation um, for sort of drawing you into an imaginative mind space. So I thought this poem would be a nice sort of impetus for any of you having like creative block, if you have like writer's block or designer's block or whatever. Um, but also a wonderful incantation for sleep. So I will read it first and then we're going to close our eyes, listen to the poem with some sound, and then listen uh, to it once more, sort of remixed with a little bit of, um, of layering, okay? Let me just find it. You can see Fragile Things, which I think is kind of a lovely title for the collection. Um, oh, this is kind of funny. So it says, also by Neil Gaiman. There's a for adults section, and then there's for young readers. He does work a lot with um, Dave McKean, an illustrator, um, and I have <clears throat> some of these books, like The Wolves in the Walls, um, in my personal library, so if you guys like those kind of things, I can always read them to you or show them to you. And anyway, I find it interesting, one of the people he... Uh, he dedicates it to, um, to other writers and um, other storytellers like Ray, Ray Bradbury, who is amazing. I'm a big Bradbury fan. So, anyway. so you see all of his um, work here in the content. And A Study in Emerald is first, which is very evocative of Sherlock Holmes. So, um, October in the Chair is wonderful. Um, if you guys are ever in the mood for something a little bit darker, <laughs> um, I would love to read you October in the Chair. It's so good. And it's very well framed. It's very cool. There's a lot of framing that goes on in the book. What we are looking for here. Instruction. And um, instructions is on 191, so I'll go there. Yep. It's, it's just funny looking through everything that's in here. So, um, so we're looking for 191. And of course I skipped it. <laughs> Okay, so. so go ahead and read it, and you can kind of see it in instruction. Okay, instruction. Touch the wooden gate in the wall you never saw before. Say please before you open the latch. Go through, walk down the path. A red metal imp hangs from the green painted front door. As a knocker, do not touch it. It will bite your fingers. Walk through the house. Take nothing. Eat nothing. However, if any creature tells you that it hungers, feed it. If it tells you that it is dirty, clean it. If it cries to you that it hurts, 
if you can, ease its pain. From the back garden, you will be able to see the wild wood. The deep well you walk past leads down to winter's realm. There is another land at the bottom of it. If you turn around here, you can walk back safely. You will lose no face. I will think no less of you. Once through the garden, you will be in the wood. The trees are old. Eyes peer from the undergrowth. Beneath a twisted oak sits an old woman. She may ask for something. Give it to her. She will point the way to the castle. Inside it are three princesses. Do not trust the youngest. Walk on. In the clearing beyond the castle, the twelve months sit about a fire, warming their feet. Exchanging tales. They may do favors for you, if you are polite. You may pick strawberries in December's frost. Trust the wolves, but do not tell them where you are going. The river can be crossed by the ferry. The ferryman will take you. The answer to his question is this. If he hands the oar to his passenger, he will be free to leave the boat. Only tell him this from a safe distance. If an eagle gives you a feather, keep it safe. Remember, that giants sleep too soundly, that witches are often betrayed by their appetites. Dragons have one soft spot somewhere, always. Hearts can be well hidden, and you betray them with your tongue. Do not be jealous of your sister. Know that diamonds and roses are as uncomfortable when they tumble from one's lips as toads and frogs. Colder, too, and sharper, and they cut. Remember your name. Do not lose hope. What you seek will be found. Trust ghosts. Trust those that you have helped to help you in their turn. Trust dreams. Trust your heart. And trust your story. When you come back, Return the way you came. Favors will be returned. Debts be repaid. Do not forget your manners. Do not look back. Ride the wise eagle. You shall not fall. Ride the silver fish. You will not drown. Ride the gray wolf. 
hold tightly to his fur. There is a worm at the heart of the tower. That is why it will not stand. When you reach the little house, the place your journey started, you will recognize it, although it will seem much smaller than you remember. Walk up the path and through the garden gate. You never saw before but one. And then go home, or make a home, or rest. So. Now we've heard the poem once, so I encourage you now to start to close your eyes. Because we've heard the poem, and I think now it's time for us to take the journey of the poem. So we're going to put the book aside. Because the poem no longer exists in the book, right? Now we have it in our heads. And now we're going to bring it into our hearts. And then feel it. Close your eyes and we'll begin again. Okay, so this will be a poem by Neil Gaiman. And he is of course most well known um, from his Sandman series. I am such a huge devotee to him and I wanted to send this poem out to many of you and so for those of you getting care packages I hope you'll see it um, showing up in your mail with some goodies very, very soon, but for everyone else, I wanted you to also hear this kind of lovely poem, because it is a journey, and it's a journey we can take together, so I'd love it for you to just close your eyes. So I'd really like for you to let go of tension, especially in your face, behind your eyes. Just lay back and take the journey of the story with me. When I say story, um, but it certainly is a poem. If 
any creature tells you that it hungers, feed it. If it tells you that it is dirty, clean it. If it cries to you that it hurts, if you can, ease its pain. The trees are old, eyes peer from the undergrowth, beneath a twisted oak sits an old woman, she will point the way to the castle, inside it are three princesses. Do not trust the youngest. Walk on. In the clearing beyond the castle, the twelve months sit about a fire, warming their feet, exchanging tales. They may do favors for you, if you are polite. You may pick strawberries in December's frost. Trust the wolves, but do not tell them where you are going. The river can be crossed by the ferry. The ferry men will take you. The answer to his question is this. If he hands the oar to his passenger, he will be free to leave the boat. Tell him this from a safe distance. If an eagle gives you a feather, keep it safe. Remember the giants sleep too soundly, that witches are often betrayed by their appetites. Dragons have one soft spot. Somewhere, always, hearts can be well hidden. And you betray them with your tongue. Do not be jealous of your sister. Know that diamonds and roses are as uncomfortable when they tumble from one's lips as toads and frogs. Colder, too, and sharper. And they cut. Remember your name. Do not lose hope. What you seek will be found. Trust ghosts. Trust those that you have helped to help you in their turn. Trust dreams. Trust your heart. And trust your story. 
when you come back, return the way you came. Favors will be returned, debts be repaid. Do not forget your manners. Do not look back. Ride the wise eagle. You shall not fall. Ride the silver fish. You will not drown. Ride the gray wolf. There is a worm at the heart of the tower that is why it will not stand when you reach the little house, the place your journey started. You will recognize it, although it will seem much smaller than you remember. Walk up the path and through the garden gate. You never saw before but once. And then go home or make a home. Rest. Instructions. Touch the wooden gate and the wall you never saw before. Say please. Say please. Say please. Before you open the latch. Say please. Take Go that. through. Walk down the path. A red metal imp hangs from the painted front it will bite door. Your fingers. As a knocker, it will bite your fingers. Do not touch it. It will bite your it fingers. It will bite your fingers. Walk through the house. Take nothing. Take eat nothing. 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 However, if any creature tells you that it hungers, feed it. Feed it. Feed it. If it tells you that it is dirty, clean it. If it cries to you that it hurts, if you can, if it cries, eat it its hurts. pain. If you can, ease its pain. From the back garden, you will be able to see the wild wood, the you deep well you walk past wood. leads down wild. to winter's realm. Winter There is another land wild at the bottom of it. Wood. If you turn around here, you can you walk can back safe. Back. safe. You will lose no face. You will lose I will no think face. no less of you. I will think no less Once of you. Once through the garden. You will be in the wood. The trees. the trees are old. Eyes peer from the undergrowth. Beneath a twisted oak sits an old woman. She may ask for something. Do not trust. 
give it to her. She will point the way to the castle. The youngest. Inside it, do not trust the youngest. Are three princesses. Walk on. Walk do not trust on. the youngest. Walk on. Walk on. In the clearing Walk beyond the castle, on. the twelve months sit. About a fire, set, warming their feet, exchanging tales. They may do favors for you if you are polite. You may pick strawberries in December's frost. Trust the wool. Trust the wool. But do not Trust tell them the not where you are going. Where you are going. But do not the tell river you can be crossed by the fairy. The fairy man will take you. The answer to his question is this. If he hands the oar to his passenger, he will be free to leave the boat. Only tell him this from a safe distance. If an eagle gives you a feather, keep, keep it safe. Keep Remember safe. that giants sleep keep too soundly. That witches are often betrayed by their appetites. Dragons have one soft spot somewhere always hearts can be well hidden and you betray them with your tongue do not be jealous of your sister know that diamonds and roses are as uncomfortable when they tumble from one's lips as toads and frogs. Colder, too. Sharper. And they cut. Remember your name. Do not lose hope. What you seek will be found. Hope. What you trust goes will be found for your name. Trust those trust that you have helped dream. to help you in their turn. Trust your heart. Trust and dreams. Trust, trust your heart. Your and trust Do not look your back. story. When you come back, return the way you came. Favors will be returned. Debts be repaid. Do not forget your manners. Do not look back. Trust your heart. The wise eagle, you shall not fall. Ride the silver fish, you will not drown. Ride the gray wolf, hold tight to his fur. There is a worm at the heart of the tower. That is why it will not stand. Although, when you reach the little house, the place your journey started, you will recognize it. Although, it will seem much smaller than you remember. Remember your manner. 
walk up the path Remember your name. and through the garden gate you never saw before but once and then go home or make Heart a home can be well hidden. or Yeah.